Let's now tackle number 25 on the 10 and the 12, the hardest problem in the entire contest. We have a regular pentagon with area root 5 plus 1, and it's printed on a paper and cut out. All five vertices are now folded to the center, creating a smaller pentagon. What's the area of this new pentagon? The key thing here is because we're folding this to the center, we're, we have to fold it about the midpoint of this segment. Because for this to meet this, imagine you have like a paper, right? Let's see here. We have a paper here. Let's say we're trying to fold this point like the point on my finger, to this point. We have to fold it about the midpoint of the two points, the midpoint over here. So we have to fold it about the midpoint of, see, this thing you hear. So we can imagine we fold it about the midpoint. We imagine C0 becomes here. We have this kind of thing. And the line we get is something like that, right? When we fold it. Similarly, over here, the line we get is something like this. And over here, the line we get is something like this. And over here, we have a line that's like this. All right, we're just folding over the midpoint. Whoops. And finally, here, a line like this. Oops, like that. Okay, drawing lines is clearly very hard. <laughs> okay, like, and we're asked to find the area of this pentagon on the inside. So clearly these pentagons are both regular. So if we can somehow find the ratio of some side length, we should be good. And I'm just gonna erase these, but you see how we fold it, we go here, this is, we kind of, this is the fold line. All these green lines are the fold lines. And it bounds out this hexagon on the inside. So now, now that you got the idea, I'll erase these lines. But the main thing to realize is these are the all midpoints. So in order to find the ratio of the areas, notice that, let's call that distance x, right? It's a midpoint, so that's also x. We want to find the ratio of this distance, x, to the altitude in triangle OCODO. The ratio of x to this. Because if you find the ratio of this to this, then that's the scale factor of similarity between the pentagon. And we can just square that to find the ratio of their areas. So that doesn't seem too bad, does it? So we have this here. We drop our altitude. Because it's a pentagon, right? Remember, x is the distance, not the angle. Let's call our angle A here. Or why are we calling it A? We know exactly what it is. We know that in a pentagon, 360, these are all going to be five equal parts. Each of them are 72. And if this is 72, then we must have this is 36 and this is 36. And therefore, this is 54. Like that. So now, this should be like, oh yeah, this is just trig ratios, right? We have 2x. 2x times, we have cosine of 36 equals this side length divided by 2x. So let's just say 8 over 2x. So 8 is just going to be 2x times the cosine of 36 degrees. So the ratio of their the ratio of their heights is just 2 cosine 36. And therefore the ratio of their areas is just 4 cosine 36 squared. Now, for those of you who memorize the value of cosine 36, like me then you would just easily plug it in and solve it from here, right? It's super easy from here. But for those of you who don't know the value of 36, it requires a little bit of clever thinking to figure out its value. So we have this triangle, 36, 72, 72. So there's this really cool, and it's, how do you motivate this? It's really not easy. Like, this is something you just have seen before, or you haven't seen before. But this is like a really cool trick, and it's how you can derive the value of cosine 36. How I would derive it. So we'll take a look here. We've got a 36, 72, 72 triangle. And then over here, we have 36, 72, 72 triangle on the inside. And because this is 36, we got 36 here. So let's just say this thing is 1, right? 
Or, you know what, let's just call it X, actually. You know what, let's actually call, let's call this distance 1. So let's say the ratio of this side to this side is X, right? Then this would be X. And then, similarly, we would also have this is X. And then the key thing is the ratio of this to the big side is also going to be X. So this whole thing is going to be X squared. And so this thing is going to be X squared minus 1. And of course, this is also going to be x squared over here. Now take a look. 36, 36. Angle bisector theorem. So we can say x squared minus 1 over x squared equals 1 over x. So now we just cross multiply. Divide by x. And now we just use quadratic formula. x equals 1 plus or, or just plus because x has to be positive root of b squared, so you get 1 squared minus 4 times negative 1, all over 2. So x is root 5 plus 1 by 2, and this is the golden ratio. Pretty cool. The golden ratio in these 36, 72, 72 triangles. So now, how do we find the value of cosine 36? We can just use law of cosines on this triangle. We can write the equation 2x squared minus 2x squared cosine 36 is 1 squared, and then we factor out 2x squared, we can get 1 minus cosine 36 is 1 over 2x squared. And now, well, we know the value of x is here, so x squared is just, well, 1 plus root 5 squared is just, well, 6 plus 2 root 5, because 1 squared and root 5 squared, and then we have 2 root 5 by 4, and which is just 3 plus root 5 by 2. So this is just 1 over, let's see, 1 over 3 plus root 5. We rationalize, we get 3 minus root 5 over 3 squared minus 5, so 4. That is the value of 1 minus cosine 36. So the value of cosine 36 itself is just going to be 1 minus this quantity, 1 minus 3 minus root 5 by 4 is cosine 36. We have 4 minus 3 minus root 5 over 4, which is just root 5 plus 1 by 4. That's the value of cosine 36. So, cosine 36 squared, well, notice that we can rewrite this as 2 cosine squared 36. Or 2 cosine, sorry, 2 cosine 36 squared. But then take a look. 2 cosine 36 is just x. And we already know x squared is 3 plus root 5 by 2. So the scale factor between these two pentagons, the area, is 3 plus root 5 all over 2. So we just divide that. Take this. Divide by 3 plus root 5 over 2. Or we can just do this. And now it's pretty easy, right? We just do rationalization. And then we get over 4 in the denominator. And then on top, we have a 2 of factor, which should cancel out. And then we have a 3, and then we have 8. 8 minus 8 plus 2 root 5. Is that correct? Mm. Wait, sorry. No, it's not right. Minus 2 plus root 2 root 5. And then we cancel out. We get root 5. You cancel out, you, sorry, you cancel out this 2, and then you cancel out this, you get root 5 minus 1, which is this over here. I hope you enjoyed this video.